Hi everyone, Maxim Stich here, founder of Flowbyte AI, where we help teams move faster with smart automations. Here's the real meeting problem. We talk for an hour, then leave with fuzzy notes, baggy owners, and three different versions of what was decided. Join late and you spend the rest of the call asking, what did I miss? Copilot in Teams fixes that. It sits in the meetings, tracks decisions and action items, and answers questions in plain language during the call and after it ends. In this video, I'll start a new meeting and switch the Copilot mode on. We will test it live, asking for action items, recap, transcript, the AI notes, and even more. So even if you miss the first half of the call, you still get every insight in seconds. This is part of my Microsoft 365 Copilot series. And if you want your team ahead of the curve with fewer follow-up meetings and clearer ownership, stick with me, hit subscribe and reach out to Flowbyte AI. Let's turn meetings into momentum. So in order to get access to Microsoft 365 in Teams, you have to buy Microsoft 365 Copilot license for applications. And in order to do this, I have a step-by-step -step guide how you can get this in the video somewhere here below as this is part of the series how you can use copilot for microsoft 365 apps i suggest you see how we can get a license right in here and then basically once we are in the teams app we have to turn the transcription on because this will save us a lot of time later so in order to do that we have to go to admin panel and i'm in my teams microsoft teams account right in here we have to go to settings and click meetings here we have to allow the transcription on because the transcription this is basically what ai is going to do it's going to take notes in on our meetings and will help us summarize what this meeting was about and i will show it just right in a second but before we do that we have to allow the transcription on also if once you do that you click save and you can also go to the teams setting in particular that are in on individual account and you can go to accessibility and you can click that you are automatically identified as a speaker so that AI kind of understands that if you're speaking you have you know separate in the live captions and live transcripts well again this is going to be used only for the live captions so there is an option for you to always show live captions in your meetings basically this is going to work it's like on tv whenever you speak something it automatically will transform your speech into text and will put the subtitles under the video and under the video feed so you can put this on and have it um, in your account if you don't want it you just um, keep it off and that's it so let's imagine we have a new meeting coming up we have a test meeting right here so let me go test meeting let me click on more options and i want it to be a teams meeting okay so let's assume there are no other attendees we just save it so once we have it we have a teams account here so we can join the call and once we join the call we can actually use i can't use my video right now unfortunately but because i'm recording on a camera but i'm pretty sure i can use my microphone here <laughs> so let's join now and basically um let me quickly double check uh the mic is working so now we are on a team's call and we're kind of waiting for other people to join so in order to use copilot in your team's calls you have to have first of all copilot license and turn the live transcription on and then you will see this copilot icon here on the very top corner of the interface right in here so when you are in the meetings you can turn on the copilot straight in the meeting so you have this little button right on the top next to rooms and apps basically you click it and you're asked if copilot using copilot for meeting nodes all generated by ai we just click turn it on and it asks what language we are speaking so now it supports many different languages and you can pretty much pre-select what language you're actually speeding on the call but i'm gonna go with english for now so basically now on the left hand side we actually see two kind of things here so it says ai in this meeting that's one thing and the other thing transcription started by maxim sitch basically what happens now is ai is actually listening to what i'm saying and kind of transcribes this into text and keeping ai notes so this is very helpful for any teams that actually have their work meetings in microsoft teams account 
and basically decide on different things because after that meeting you will be able to actually recap what you were talking about during the meeting what was decided what are the main tasks uh, and you know list of items that was discussed during the call so in order for this to test it i might go and say a few things so let's imagine we're working in a company called uh i don't know future company resort whatever and i'm giving some tasks to my employees for example i say mark you will need to send me a report by tomorrow 5 p.m alina for example you will be researching um uh, additional revenue growth opportunities for this week and send me back your findings by the end of this week and then we have another person max that will need to do a financial analysis of the current uh, quarter two results um whatever it is and uh, compare these results with the previous quarter and tell me how we are actually doing so now we have actually spoken out three different things and basically microsoft copilot actually listens to what i'm speaking actually right now as well and sort of kind of transcribes the whole thing so if i click to the chat and i say what was discussed during this meeting it should be able to actually recap what i was actually talking about a minute ago so here it goes it says ai transcription meeting maxim is explain how ai transcription works and this is what i actually done here because i didn't turn off the mic so it was listening to me the whole time then it says that i was talking about the benefits of transcription example use cases and here we go we have three different tasks so mark three percent the report by the next day alina research additional revenue growth opportunities by the week's end and max conduct the financial analysis so that's kind of what we have you in terms of interface we don't have a lot of options here so we have pre-selected prompts that we can use for example recap the meeting so far so think about if you are a manager and you were late for this meeting and you join a little bit later you can actually go in and ask recap the meeting for um so far so basically you come in and you sort of get the idea of what was discussed before that so there are key topics ai transcription overview task assignment ai transcription recap that's exactly what I was talking the whole time about it. Then there is another thing for more prompts. So you can um, have more prompts pre-selected for you basically to work with and kind of, you know, ask instead of you kind of thinking about what to actually ask it about, you can use some pre-selected prompt. For example, list action items that were decided during the call. And most likely, basically, uh, and most likely it will just take, you know, three tasks that I have assigned to different people and it will kind of take note of that and we'll report this back and this is exactly what we actually have here okay so this is how copilot actually works um in 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 the call we can also have um it transcribe me in the real time but i've turned off this feature so if you want it i've previously showed it more how you can do that so okay so now we want to actually leave this call what we want to do is we want to recap this event so think about if you are with your colleagues in one workspace but you have actually missed the call just because you were sick you needed to run by a doctor's appointment or you were just unable to attend it for whatever reasons so you've missed the meeting but you're in one sharepoint and you have access to the meeting or at least you were invited to that meeting and one of your colleagues turned the co-pilot on so here's what you can see you can click view recap and after a few minutes you will have a summary of the ai notes and the transcript of the video appear in your recap for example here even if i was not attending this meeting but i was on the agenda i'm sort of but i was invited to this meeting i can actually check what are the main ideas that were discussed during the meeting so here we go ai notes generated by ai check for accuracy ai transcription overview so basically it tells what i was speaking about there are task assignments so three tasks that we have assigned and ai transcription recap follow-up tasks that we need to do and actually it even points out the exact timing which i really really like so even i would even if i was not attending this meeting i can actually get the insights what the meeting was about what also we can get is basically the transcript and again here as i was the only one person attending the meeting it sort of 
it sort of transcribes only my speech. And why would you ever need this speech? Just because you can take this speech and actually put this into ChatGPT and ask a specific thing what these people were discussing or what Max said about this particular topic, right? You would just take this whole transcript and put it into ChatGPT and it will find the right moment for you. Or you can just get, you know, a quick summary from... So once we have AI notes and transcript, another thing we can do, we can actually ask Copilot. And basically it pulls up the whole conversation we have had about this particular call. So we can ask, you know, um, pull up the things where Alina was discussed during a call, okay? So think about, you don't want to read the transcript for a whole hour, what people were talking about in general. You're just interested in your own thing. And you come to this call and say, Alina, discussion point, task assign Maxima, sign Alina, the task of researching additional revenue growth opportunities, and was included in the AI transcription recap is one of the main actions discussed. So basically, instead of you going and actually checking where this actually comes from, you can do this with Control F for sure, but you don't get the context, you only get the keyword. Here with AI and Copilot with Teams, you can actually get the context as well, which is pretty nice. All right, so once we have AI notes and transcript, you can go and share and copy the link to somebody else if you want to share how this meeting have actually went. So we click here and basically anyone else can access the meeting now. So you can share it within your organizations. And also you can go to a chat because you can chat about each and every meeting. So here you will be talking to your colleagues about this meeting or a particular idea, but also you can talk to AI because AI will have the whole text context that you guys had in the chat and you have discussed during the call. So, and also here, as you can see, you see pretty much previous conversations you had with the co-pilot. Also here on the very top, you can see the shared option. So this will allow you to actually go to a recording of the call. And again, it doesn't have the screen recording on, but it will record basically what you were talking about and sort of you can um, see by time when you were talking about what. And again, in this setting, again, you can click Copilot and basically ask the same thing because it will have the transcription. So you can sort of listen later what you were talking about. But here also, it sort of kind of, it sort of recaps the meeting and you can ask general questions about that particular meeting. So if you don't want it, you can go to recap and again, you will see the same thing that you've seen before right in here and basically other settings as usual. So this kind of additional thing has been added. So there are no notes and mentions on this call. And also what one can actually find is that on the left hand side in the bar menu, we can see the Copilot icon and the Copilot icon is basically a built in Microsoft 365 Copilot app into Teams chat because they want to make Teams sort of like a all in one workspace. You can even open Excel files, Word files straight in the Teams chat. And basically Copilot here is just another built in app. And I will have the video about Microsoft Copilot 365 app later on. That's going to be the last video and it will be coming out in a few weeks. So please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that because it actually provides great, great possibilities that are not available in other apps. So I'll make a separate video on this one and how to use it. But today we just talked about Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams and Copilot actually makes it very easy for any note taking, basically thinking about AI assistant always sitting right next to you on the all of the calls and basically transcribing everything you guys are discussing. And after that, it will just prepare what you need, what was discussed, what were the main points, listed uh, action items, what are the main decisions that you've made and what are the deadlines so that not you, not anybody else need to actually care about taking notes and everybody's on the same page. Everybody remembers and knows what you've talked about. And even like managers that have not even attended the call, they actually can review if their team is actually working properly according to the script, if that's a sales call you know, kind enough to their clients, etc. So you can even do some uh, micromanagement if you wish. Otherwise, and that's a brilliant note taker for everyone, for you and a client so that everyone keeps on the same page. So please use it for your benefit and hopefully that makes you more productive. We've just let Copilot join a meeting, pulled instant action items, used their recap to find the moments that matter, 
ask questions right inside the transcript, capture the AI notes, and open the recording in stream. No more who owns what, no more what did I miss. All the links with useful resources to dig deeper about Copilot and Teams will be down in the description. If you want AI running across your organization, message us at info at flowby.ai. We will wire it into your workflow. Next episode, Copilot in PowerPoint turn meeting notes into a clean stakeholder DAG in minutes. Like if this saves your team a follow-up call, subscribe so you don't miss what's next. See you there.